lesson 13, add this trick to improve your trading result. Once you understand what I'm saying in this video, I'm telling you, your trading journey is going to change so big and it is going to improve. You need to understand anytime you come to trade, you have first to analyze. There's no way you can place a buy or a sell without analyzing. And I think the most problem that many traders go through is because they don't have an edge when it comes to analyzing the market. So what I want to tell you today or what I want to show you, in fact, is something that I use most, little trick that I use in my analysis. And I've come to realize it has really changed even the way I view the market. So because we uh, many people have been asking me to analyze GBPAUD, I will use it for this example. And then I'll compare with other pair that I see, you can understand even more better. So the first thing that you open your chart, of course, I told you you want to check on three things. The first one is the market structure. Number two is the price action. And number three the, is the pattern. So the market structure of this pair, GBPLD, and this is current market. We are talking of current market. The market structure of this current market on GBP AUD is a NAP trend. So the buyers are in control. So you can see the market has been from since last year, September, and last, uh, last month or September. So for one year, the market has been going up. So it is more of an uptrend. But the thing is, this uptrend can change to be a reversal anytime soon. So, and that's why I did the first, uh, I did the lesson, uh, the lesson 12, was it lesson 12? I did on the reversal. So sometime you might find the reversal may take place, but I will show you how a reversal may take place in this pair. But yes, we know the market structure. What is the price action? The price action is what happened in the last month of, uh, September. So we'll go to the monthly time frame, and I want to show you the candle for the last month. Which candle do you think it is that candle? What communication is it saying? Who is in control? According to that, just this one candle alone, who is communicating louder, buyers or sellers? Of course, sellers are communicating louder. In fact, this candle has engulfed the previous candle on of um of, uh, of August. So September candle momentum, bearish and gulf, sellers are in control. So from price action, it is different with the market structure because the market structure is suggesting a buy trend. But the price action, what happened last month is a sale. So the only thing now we are left with, let's go back to the daily time frame. The only thing now we are left with to determine what is happening is the last one, Forex pattern. So what do you think, comment down below, what do you think uh, GBP AUD has? What kind of a Forex pattern do we think we are having? What kind of a Forex pattern do you think GBP AUD has? Have you commented? You know, you can't be just watching and you don't engage with these videos. You have to first, you have to dedicate yourself to be a commenter. <laughs> do we call them a commenter? So what kind of a pattern do you think we have? If you have commented double bottom, possible double bottom, you're correct. So we have this possible double bottom. And this is what will happen. So this double bottom, a possible double bottom has two outcomes. So even if you know uh, a double bottom that can only buy, you are not uh, tapping the other side of a double bottom. So I will mark this double bottom. Let us mark this double bottom. We mark our neckline and then we mark our half. You see, we mark neckline, we mark our half. And the reason why we are doing this, we just want to conclude what does GBP AUD want? And I am showing you a trick that you'll be using. So let's name our, our double bottom. So this is the neckline. And then we have the half there. So what you need to understand is that 
whenever you have a double bottom, the double bottom can bath two things. Anytime you have a double bottom, anytime you have a double bottom. So that's the first bottom, the second bottom. The double bottom can break half, break neckline and continue. That is one scenario. So don't see double bottom only for buy. There are different types of double bottom. There are two things that the double bottom can do. So it has broken, it has broken half, and then it has broken what? Neckline. So when you have a double bottom, it can do that very easy. Another side of a double bottom that many people don't like tapping, that reality of a double bottom, it can form a cap and handle. The market can come, reject to break the half, reject to break the half, and eventually breaks the, the double bottom and continue going down. So one double bottom is supporting us by, well, the other double bottom is supporting a what? A sell. So anytime you see a double bottom, don't be so blinded by one side. So what is happening here? We have a double bottom, yes, but this double bottom, they can use it for buy signal so that we can continue with the trend. You see, if they do this, the trend continues, you see? But if they do this, if they break here, what do you think happens? We have a reverse. They create a cup and handle. So GBP, you be trying to trade GBP, even right now, if you're in this trade, you should close that trade. Why? Number one, you are attempting to trade a pair that can do two things. You see, the market structure of GBP, AUD is an uptrend. This is an uptrend. So buyers are supported. But the price action of last month is a sell. Sellers are coming in. But now the one that should settle this case is this pattern. And again, this pattern, it can do two things. It can either buy or it can sell. So the only thing that I want to show you right now is where you trade a double bottom wasting your time. The, the thing is you just come and highlight this double bottom so that it is visible when you scale down or you go higher time frame. So I will highlight that. And before even I trade this double bottom, the question I want to ask myself, this is the trick now. Have you understood how to analyze? You analyze everything. You come up with a double bottom or you come up with a double top. Whichever you come up, the trick, it will still work. So you have your double bottom. The trick is we want to go to higher time frame to check do we still have the same double bottom? If on the if on the weekly we still have the double bottom, we are not supposed to be entering this trade because there's someone who will tell me I'm already buying because of WBB. But the question is, did you take time to go to weekly to see if this market has the same double bottom? Because if on the weekly there is a double bottom, you can't enter using daily time frame. The confirmation now comes from there weekly so there's someone who has entered because of wbb but is strong why they have not first confirmed if this double bottom is weekly so let's go to the weekly time frame so can you see what i'm saying the double bottom is visible on the weekly the double bottom is very visible on the weekly and you can trade it according to wbb because it has given us an engulf candle can you see very bullish engulf. But the problem is you might trade this bullish engulf and still market drop down. And you might ask yourself, why did I lose on this trade? It's just that you didn't confirm, is this double bottom still on the monthly? Because if it's on the monthly, the confirmation signal cannot come from this bullish engulf. It has to come from the monthly candle. So we just want to flip on the monthly. We check if there's a double bottom. If there is a double bottom, our confirmation comes from a monthly, not weekly, not daily. So if the monthly does not have, we stick on the weekly and you buy. So I was coming to the monthly time frame, and guess what? We still have a double bottom on the monthly. Can you see it? So you, you're there saying, I'm on a buy because GBPOD on the daily it has given me WBB and on the Weekly, it has given me a bullish engulf. 
and you're leaving the part where the same double bottom that you can see on the daily, weekly, it is still visible on the, on the monthly. And according to monthly, according to this monthly, they have not given us even an entry. Even the first green candle, when you use WBB, you say, wait for green candle, check if it's bullish and gap. The green candle has not even come. So weekly and daily, it will not be effective. Why? Because the minute they use this to take the market up, the minute they use this market to take this market up, it will have been confirmed if the market either will break half of this monthly or you have to be patient and wait for the monthly candle to confirm. So if you enter using daily and weekly, you might make money, but it is 50-50 chance. I'm not saying you, you can't enter, you can, but it is a 50-50 chance trade. As here, we are not trading a 50-50 chance trade. So I want to give you an example of a double bottom that is not available on the weekly. It's not available on the monthly. It's only available on the daily. And how do you trade such a double bottom? Because right at this moment, if the monthly candle continues to be red, if it continues to be red, continues to be red, this market will sell. You are waiting for the market to buy on the lower time frame, but this market is telling you, I'm going to sell. So I want to show you a good example of a market that has a double bottom, a double bottom that is only available on the daily, and then you can tell the difference. Let's do card JPY. Let's try to analyze card JPY. So this is card JPY. I want us to analyze card JPY because you will find uh you will find what I'm trying to say. So you open your chart. The first thing that you start is what? You have said is what? Market structure. Let me write for you. Number one, market structure. So that is the market structure. Number two, we want to know what candle did the month we are this is july so what did june candle close like so market structure is an uptrend you go on the monthly time frame and you check you check that candle this is the candle that the month of june closed so the price action it can tell you what was the price action really this green candle is a momentum it's a marubozu candle it is an app, it is giving buyers more confidence. So according to monthly, the buyers have it. According to daily, the structure is still a, say, a buy. You can see, buy. The last one is a Forex pattern. And this is what comes to separate the two. Do we have a reversal? Is it a reversal that is about to form or it's a continuation of the market? So we have this possible double bottom. This is a possible double bottom. And then we have the neckline. We have the neckline and then we create the half. So the question we are asking ourselves is, the question you're asking ourselves, this double bottom that we can see clearly, is it visible on the weekly? Because if it is visible on the weekly, we cannot even trade it on the daily. Our entry will be solely on weekly. If it continues being available on the monthly, we'll go on the monthly. So if I flip my weekly chart, I'm not supposed to see any support. In fact, if there's someone who asked me, when, what do you mean when you say weekly has no double bottom? If you go to this first attempt here that has formed a double bottom, on the weekly, it will be green, green. There will be no support that is being seen. That's when you say on the weekly, there is no double bottom. So this red candle you are seeing, it will be green, green, green. There will not be red because the presence of red brings a support. So on the weekly, there will not be a support on this leg. So let's go on the weekly. Let's go on the weekly. You see, the market does not have a red candle, meaning on this leg that is going on an uptrend, we do not have a support. And you already know that a double bottom has to have a support area where the first attempt is happening and then the second attempt comes 
and create the second bottom. So in this case, the double bottom here, it is can be traded on the daily. Unlike AU, GBP Audi, where the double bottom is avail available everywhere. So we are using which strategy? WBB. So let's see how this market played out. So we wait, we get the green candle, we get the, we put a box, we, we get a red, we remove the box. And then now we are looking for an engulf, a bullish engulf that will engulf that red. We get another green candle, we put a box. And then we look for the box to be broken. The box has not been broken and eventually the market breaks the box. So if you want to try to trade double bottom, you will always be asking your question, is it on the higher time frame? That is the trick. If it's on the higher time frame, you can't be given entry confirmation from that specific time frame. You have to go. But if it's not there, our final, uh, our final signal will only come from the daily. So we are targeting up to the half. So you target up to the half. And that's 103 pips, guys, 103 pips. So you wait patiently until the take profit is hit. Guys, if there is a, a double bottom that is easier to trade, easier to trade is a double bottom that is not available on the other time frame. If you, are, if you have seen a double bottom on four hour, Make sure it's not available on the daily so that you can trade it perfectly. I hope, guys, I have made sense on this video. So what we have said on GBP AUD, let me go back. What we have said on GBP AUD, we have said at this moment, this pair, it is very, very tricky to trade it. Why? Don't trade this double bottom and a buy because that buy, it is not confirmed yet on the monthly. So unless monthly confirms, that's when we are entering. So we can only trade this pair and there's a there's a, a very small red candle here and you spot that red candle so if you want to trade that double bottom the only thing i need to check is it on is it available on the weekly can you see it is not can you see that red candle that you are seeing it's not so this red candle can come down and they can come and activate here so what they will be activating they'll be activating a double bottom on the daily. So they'll be activating a double bottom on the daily. So at the end of the day, what I want to tell you is that whenever you see a double bottom, the first question to ask yourself, how many time frames is this double bottom available? How, where can I see this double bottom? If it is many time frames, just know your analysis will not be as easy as you might be on one time frame. Thank you so much. I hope now analysis on GBPAUD are clear. You'll be trading and you'll make money. Thank you and love.